you know what I hate? What? Cash. Yeah. Like, just get rid of it. <laughs> Come on, Boris, just step up and make this cashless. <laughs> Put a little blocker. Oh no, that's it. Right. Hello. Right. <laughs> How's your weekend at the beach? Fantastic weekend, mate. Do you know what hasn't had a fantastic weekend? I failed communities in the past. Wow, uh, that's the worst link <laughs> I've ever heard. Do you know what hasn't had a great weekend? Our failed communities in the past. That was so poor. Um, so we're talking about our failed communities today. <laughs> We always talk about the communities that have done well and the communities that have succeeded, but there's been a, a few along the way that haven't quite made it. And I just wanted to know what they were and what we've learned from them. Uh, the official force. The official force. I like that one. Uh, so we were trying to get into like the sort of like Marvel end of stuff. Mm. I still think there's a there's a play for that. Yeah, didn't grow. Nine to five. Nine to so five. So we tried to do like the, the opposite of on the tools and get like the white collar side in. I think this, the reason though, these all started around at a similar time mm. and we just didn't have the resource. We wanted to like grow the communities, but we still needed so much resource going into on the tools at the time. Mm. They just didn't work. Oh, polka dot over here. Yeah, polka dots. Polka dots. Do you just wanted to know, if you would start like a new community up, it could be a Facebook group, it could be a Facebook page, what would it be about? Oh. Like, I know. Go. Laminator group. Laminated group. No, because I'm already the best and I already know everything there is. <laughs> Show people your laminator. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me about a couple of our failed communities, oh, including no. so much sass. Oh no. <laughs> so much sass is a little bit different. Yeah. Because actually we've got some success with that. Yeah. Quite funny because um, it blew up in Mexico City. So at one point, I think 50%, we were right in the early days, this was in the first couple of weeks. I used to always say to Abby and Kirsten, you're a big, you're a big success in Mexico. Because <laughs> it's the so much that you did quite a lot of memes. Yeah, um, yeah, there was a meme that got like, I think it was over 30, over 30 million views, yeah. I think that was again one of the reasons why it probably didn't work. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't put enough like video content out, we didn't ship with the platform enough for so much stuff the same way as we did with on the tools. You just gotta, you gotta try and like, I suppose, figure out the niche that one works for you in terms of the content that you can create, mm -hmm. and two, try and get creative with stuff that hasn't been been done before, or not a lot of people are doing it as well. That's mm. where we kind of like found most of our growth has come from anyway. If you could set up a community, what community would you set up? What do you mean? I've got a few ideas. I'd either do it on something around like real life communities, like home communities, mm. where people live and stuff, and the impact of like your area and how that can like impact your life. People can come together from like Facebook communities, how they can make change in their real life communities. Like car hacks. I had bad tire pressure over there, didn't know how to do it. Oh. That's what's my brother. <laughs> He's back. Um, do you know what's not back? What's not back? Yeah. It's an interesting segue. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to be. <laughs> um, on the ball. On the ball, do you remember on the ball? We had an idea, you know, obviously football being like mm. massive over here in the UK. The difficulty is content mm. because of the copyright, because oh, of the yeah. rights involved. So you can't actually show anything, there's very few Im images you can no. show. So we thought because we had on the tool that every new community that we started, we just put on the, on the ball, on the screen. <laughs> and on the ball, I think we missed the, the, um, the ball. Well done, Jamie. I think we didn't quite have our eye on the ball uh, on that one. The, the, the boom on Facebook, didn't matter what content you put on there, whether it's an article, an image, a bit of text, a video, didn't matter. It would just put it to the whole audience, and if it was good content, the algorithms would chuck it up and you'd get ridiculous growth. Whereas when we set on the ball up, it wasn't like that. It was much harder. When it comes to like, football, so much competition out there. Mm. It's not really niche. So I think that's kind of where we got it wrong. We was always really good at doing niche communities. Mm. And we went and done something that was the opposite to what we knew. We don't know it all. We haven't got a clue. <laughs> Same as everyone else, you know, we have to try these things. So yeah, we'll have some, I like the failed ones because you, you, you just sort of steer clear from them then. This is the thing, isn't it? You've got to have ideas and then start them, try them. You've got to try things, otherwise you never know, do you? No. Uh, Jamie, mm -hmm. uh, one thing I have got to do is mm -hmm. just stop for this um, small advert in our vlog. <laughs> this week's vlog is sponsored by Jamie Elkins. It uh, is indeed. Jamie is a great guy, lovely hair. Please <laughs> go follow this little man here. <laughs> 